Hey, Michael, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Happy birthday, first of all. Thank you. Um, you know, just what's your anticipa- anticipation level like to get going and to get on, out on the field today? Yeah, I'm excited. Um, to be honest, I kind of forgot my birthday till like 10 o'clock last night, but I just been grinding, trying to learn these plays and uh, learn everybody's name and just getting, you know, acc- um, accustomed to being here. But I'm really excited. So I'm just excited to get out there and uh, have my first NFL practice. Michael, and, um, is this, is this where it's finally setting in for you, man? Like, like, is it you're you're in the facility? You've got your jersey now. You got the helmet. You're about to have a practice. Like, is it now? Like, finally, all coming together that that you're in the the NFL. Uh, to be honest, I think. To be honest, I kind of like felt it when I got drafted. Like maybe a little bit after, it was like an exciting time. But you know, I'm just I was just I've been excited to get up here, and now I'm here, and um, now it's really business. Michael, what are some quick differences that you've noticed, you know, looking in a playbook versus, you know, where you was at UNC versus where you are now with the Jets? What's some differences you've noticed in the playbook? Um, it's just more information. Um, obviously, the the offenses are, are different, but, you know, there's only so many ways that you can run, you know, these plays that we run. So um, it's a lot of it's a lot of exploring those different ways and um, just getting to understand it all has been a cool process. So. Uh, it's only day one, so I'm going to just take it day by day. But so far, I feel ready to go out there. Michael, we didn't get a chance to ask you this on the, on draft day, but what was your reaction when they drafted Michael Carter the second um, right after you? Uh, at first, I was like, wow, because um, I like Mike. You know, he's a great guy. You know, I played him in college all four years. But I was, a little part of me was like, man, I can't even have my own name. But it's okay, though. You know, he's a great guy, great talent, freak speed. And so he's going to help the team a lot. So I can't wait to play with him. Michael, what's your familiarity with Zach? And, and, and what's the excitement level to be on the field with him now, you know, today being the first time? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited. I've been talking to him really the last couple of days. He texted me when I got drafted, you know, just trying to um, build a relationship with him. Um, just day by day, taking it slowly. Um, I feel like I, I, feel, I probably know him. The best out of all the people besides maybe like Brandon Eccles would, and Mike Carter, or whoever, like, you know, I stayed with Brandon when I was training and I played against Mike. So um, everybody he, else, you know, I'm starting you know, I'm starting to get to know. But, I mean, those are the big three that I really know the best. So um, when Zach he's a, was – oh, sorry about that. Um, one more my apologies. Sorry about that. Uh, no, I was just going to follow. I'm sorry to interrupt. My apologies. Um, I just – when Zach texted you, I mean, he, you know, we've – you know, as we've just read about him, because we haven't met him yet, but he's he's known as a pretty pretty good leader. And I'm just kind of curious what his messages to you were. You know, other than just the congratulations, you know, welcome to the team uh, when he did text you after you got drafted. Yeah, it was mostly um, can't, you know, I'm, I'm excited to have you, you know, on my team. I think you're a hell of a player. Um, you know, just can't wait to get to work. And then, so you know, it was kind of like an introductory um, introductory text. And then, you know, the more I've talked to him, I can see why people would say that just because of his energy. Um, he's very positive. Um, he's not afraid to speak up, just, you know, even just telling off his persona and just being able to tell that he's a genuine person. And um, in terms of leadership, people want to follow people that are, like, genuine and, like, know that they want the best for him. So I can already tell just off the bat that, you know, he wants the best for the people around him and he wants the best for the team. Mike, what are um what are your initial impressions of Coach Sala been? Oh yeah, I rock with him already. Um, I just I can't wait to play for him. He's a great coach already. He's he wants to win. He wants to have fun doing it. Uh, he wants to have high energy, and that's me. So I'm excited to play for him. Great coach. Hey, Michael, I just wanted to ask you one more question about uh, Michael Carter II. I, I guess you he tackled you a couple of times in, in your games, but I think you got him once good uh, at the goal line. I think it was in this year's game when you scored that touchdown. Do you remember that play? Yeah, I remember it. Y'all won't stop showing it. <laughs> but to remind. be honest, I feel like it was just one of them. I didn't know who it was until after I saw it. And maybe during the game, I think I might have said something, but Honestly, I don't remember just because I, I feel like I it was just in the middle of the game. But also in that same game, he had a one-handed pick. So 
He got a bet. What number are you wearing, Mike? Uh, I don't know. So how does this Wait. compare to previous birthdays you've had? It's my 22nd. I never had a 22nd birthday. What are your goals as a rookie? Personal goals? Um, Honestly, at this point, I throw my personal goals out the window. Uh, first, I just need to come in and um, earn my keep, earn respect from the teammates, and then everything else will fall into place. Michael, Joe Douglas said that you, he called you a special athlete and they wanted to draft you sooner. What, um, they would have drafted you higher if they had the opportunity. What, um, what do you think will be on display that will, will stand out to your teammates right away? Um, first, I feel like I'm going to bring some energy out there to the practice field. Um, game days, I'm going to bring it. Uh, I want to be someone who contributes to the game. Um, I never, I didn't redshirt in college. I played as a freshman in high school. So um, in a failed game, when I expect myself to be out there and making big contributions to the team, um, that's just a personal standard that I have. So um, I, I hope they can expect that. Michael, did you have any favorite running backs, you know, as, you, as you've grown up? And uh, is there anybody that maybe you try to model your game after? Yeah, so growing up, uh, just watching old clips of like Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders. And then when I got a little older, LT, um, Jamal Charles, and then – um, lately, it's been mostly like Alvin Kamara, um, McCaffrey, Dalvin Cook, Aaron Jones. Uh, also, I like D'Angelo Williams growing up, too. I don't know if y'all know who that was. but That's a pretty good combo platter there. Uh, appreciate it. How are you going to celebrate your birthday? Practice. <laughs> I guess. Um, I can't really tonight. do nothing, too. To be honest, that's what I plan on doing today. So we're going to practice. We're going to watch. You know, I'll probably chill.